we have seniors who live here. So seniors get into that time when they're feeling that they're isolated, that they don't have their family, and they start to reflect back on themselves in a younger age. And there's always, I wish I could have done something better. I didn't do this. I wasn't there for this person or that sort of thing. And I'm feeling sick and I'm not happy. What do I do? And I just feel like it's, it's all over and I want to go. I get to have the conversation like, okay, how do you want it to go? How do you see the rest of your life with little is left? How do you want to go? How do you want to see it when you're gone? What can I do to help you with that? Well, I didn't really thought of that. Okay, so let's talk about it. So we talk about end of life. We talk about what it looks like. I tell them what happens when they're gone. I can tell them what's going to happen when they're sweet and their stuff. And just very matter of factly, what do you want? So that it makes them comfortable. And I, you know, it's not a happy thing, but it also is not a sad thing. And people make it really sad and say, you want to go there? Go there because it's important. And, 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 and I, I see it, the relief that, that gives folks who are feeling that they're on their own at this time of their life in a time when they're feeling as if they haven't had any, you know, any impact on the world, so to speak. And I can tell them otherwise. Well, let's talk about what you did before. Let's talk about that. Okay, cool. All right, well, that's something. You know, and what do you want later? How do you want to be seen? And not being with people have that conversation, but for me, that's most rewarding because I'm comfortable enough to have that conversation and it does help people with their anxiety.